Hi guys, welcome to Make 2 and a Sims Free Play Let's Build tutorial. We are going to build a two-story medieval themed house. We've actually done a video tour already of a fully furnished version of this house and I will link to that in the video description below. I'll also link in the video description to some other important information so please do check that out. The house that I'm going to show in this video is not going to be exactly like that medieval house that we showed before on the channel. It's going to be very similar, but not exactly like that. By the same token, if you are wanting to build this house in your own towns, you should obviously feel free to make whatever changes you want and decorate it however you want. I feel like this house could work pretty well as an ordinary family home if you want to not use the medieval theme. It's just up to you. The only thing that we ask is if you do use this video as inspiration for building in your own town, then please, if you're sharing pictures of the house on Facebook or Instagram or social media, then just let people know that you were inspired by Make2 on YouTube. So as you can see, the lot that I'm using is the Wizard Cottage lot, which is a prize for completing the Saved by the Spell quest, and we've got a tutorial for that on our channel as well. So I deleted the rooms of the original wizard cottage, but I'm leaving stuff like rugs and plants in place because I'm probably going to want to use them for the fully furnished version of the house. So like I said, it's on two floors. In order to unlock the ability to build two floors or more in the game, you need to complete the multi-story renovations quest, which unlocks at level 17 after you finish all the other required quests that come before it. And in order to have balconies in the game, you need to complete the balcony quest, which is unlocked after you complete the patio quest at level 15, and also the multi-story renovations quest at level 17, as I mentioned. So upstairs I've got three bedrooms, downstairs I've got a living room, kitchen, pantry, dining room, and office. And in the back here right now, I'm just building some patios, which are going to be kind of like outdoor pathways, and that's why I'm going for this stone paving. You'll see when I furnish it what that'll look like. So now let's just go ahead and put in doors and windows. I'm going to use the cottage door for any doors that go outside exterior doors, and for interior doors I'm going to use uh, these open doorways and also one of the dark Victorian doors, but as I said, if you are building this in your own town, I encourage you to use whatever you want to, whatever you can afford, and whatever you like.
For windows, I'm using the cottage windows and also the medieval windows. The reason I'm using two windows is just I figured it would look cool. <laughs> That's really the only reason. The cottage windows are obviously a little more expensive than the medieval windows, so I'm mostly using those as like decorative types of windows. So you can see the effect here when I go around the exterior of the house. And now we can put in floors and walls. For the floors, I'm going to go for the aged wood, which I think is unlocked when you complete the Book of Spells quest and maybe also one of the magic hobbies. And then for bathrooms and kitchens, I'm going to use the cottage flooring, which I assume gets unlocked when you unlock the cottage. For walls, I'm going to go for the cottage wall in most of the rooms, which is pretty simple. In bathroom and kitchen, I'm going to go for the stone and tile cottage wall. And in the hallways, I'm going for medieval wall. So that's the interior of the house. Now we can start putting some furniture in. So this big room in the front here is going to be the living room. The small room on the side here is going to be sort of a library or an office, study, whatever you call it. So I'm going to put bookcases and then later a desk and chair. This small room off the back of the house is a powder room, which is basically just a sink and toilet. Upstairs, the bathroom is over here to the front. The toilet has its own small little room, one by two squares, and then the sink and tub will go into the bigger room.
And now for the kitchen. This oven, I think, also gets unlocked with the wizard cottage. I like the idea of the oven and the little bits of wood being next to a fireplace. If you think of, like, old-style kitchens from, I guess, medieval Europe, a lot of them had fireplaces inside, so that's why I've decided to put the oven with the wood next to another fireplace, and the fireplace in the kitchen obviously backs onto the fireplace in the living room. These countertops are from the wizard cottage as well. And this is going to be the dining room, and I'm putting a bunch of Japanese countertops here to act like sort of a sideboard where you can put dishes and decorations for the dining room. And in the middle of the kitchen, I'm going to put a rustic table for whoever lives in the cottage, if they don't want to have a formal dinner in the dining room, then they can just eat in the kitchen here, and it's nice and cozy and warm in front of the fire. But when they have guests over, then they'll be in the dining room. And this table can also work as a hall table, so I put one in the hall as well. And this is going to be the desk and chair for the study. And a couple of chairs for a chess table in the corner of the living room. Moving plants around the yard. And just by the front door, a closet for coats and things. Now we can do the upstairs. Three bedrooms, as I said. Now we can finally put the staircase in. Generally, when you're putting a staircase into the game, you need to have built a room on each floor for the staircase to fit into. So remember, build the room first and then put the staircase. So in this pantry, I'm just going to put some more of these Japanese cabinets in another refrigerator for storage. And just putting plants around the house makes it feel warmer and cozy and lived in.
And then we can start putting some stuff in the yard. I think this romantic swing set comes from the Extreme Home Takeover quest as one of the prizes for completing that quest. Then at the back here, I'm just going to put a couple of benches for a little seating area. And then this other place is perfect for a table and chairs. And that's basically it. I think it's a great looking house to kick off the autumn season, the fall season. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Please let us know in the comments what you think, and if you are new to our channel, feel free to subscribe because we've got plenty more Sims free play videos on the way. Thanks for watching!